Open up your image in Photoshop using Camera Raw or on Bridge. And first, we'll make a few adjustments here. I like to increase the exposure. I like the images on the brighter side. Then we will also increase the contrast. I love contrast in the photos. I think it makes them pop so much more, especially for my boudoir images. And, and honestly, a lot of even my outdoor images, I like to deepen the shadows and brighten the whites and then the blacks, darken them. Then I like to come to the color and check the white balance. I always warm that up a little. I think that looks good. Just kind of go by how much warmth you're wanting. And then I always check the optics to make sure the lens is going to be corrected. So for this image, I think it looks good how it was. And there you have it. And then you can open up the file and we'll start editing in Photoshop. All right, now that we have the image open up in Photoshop, we'll create a few different layers that we're going to make adjustments to. Come to your layer, layers panel and add a new adjustment layer. We'll add a curves layer. And all you're going to do here is just put one selection and brighten up the image. And then double click on the layer. We're going to rename it Brighten. That way we know what layer it is for later and select the white box and we're going to invert the image. So control I on the keyboard and that way we can brush on where you want areas to be brightened. So you can see it's when I hide the layer, nothing changes. And next we're going to create an, a new adjustment layer where we can darken the image in certain areas. So we'll come back to our panel and add a curves layer and this one just do one selection on the darker area and drag down to deepen the image double click on the layer to rename it and we'll do this one darken and select the white thumbnail and do control i to invert the layer and next we're going to do an airbrushing layer this makes such a huge difference in how my photos turn out. It just looks so nice and smooth and everyone just loves how these turn out. So it's definitely a favorite. So click on the background image and drag to duplicate it. We're going to rename it so that we know what it is. We'll name it airbrush. Next, we will invert the image. So on your keyboard, control I, that will invert it. And we're just gonna come change the blending mode to vivid light, just down there. And now we're going to filter other high pass. And here you can see like how the skin looks if you bring it lower. So you kind of just look at how you want the skin to look when you brush the skin for this layer for the adjustment to be airbrushed. So if it's just at two, it doesn't really look much different. We'll bring it here to seven. It's a little bit more and, you, and just ignore like the clothes. And even if there's like any harsh like highlights or orange, that will be fixed later. Um, even here. And of course up here, that is just way too much. So I like to kind of do it like around 45. So we'll select there and do okay. And now we're going to create a layer mask. So come back to your layers panel and select the one that's a white box with like a little dark circle in the middle. So like that, and now select the white thumbnail and then do control I on the keyboard. And that way we have another adjustment layer. So I'll hide it and show you like, so everything, the image looks exactly how we opened it up from camera raw. So first we're going to do the airbrushing, select their airbrush layer, the black box, and then we're going to do a brush. Make sure you do a soft brush. You definitely do not want a hard brush. It just doesn't look as natural. 
And then the size, I just um, constantly am changing the size on my keyboard with the brackets um, to make it larger and smaller depending on what area I'm selecting. But we do want the opacity at 100%. And then the brush, um, we want the white box to be forward. And let's zoom in on this image. And I like to start with the face. You can start whichever area you want to. And we're just going to go brush on where we want the airbrush. And even if it looks like it might be too much, like too plasticky, it's fine because later we will adjust how much we want on here with the opacity of that layer and also taking away some with the black brush. So if you, you know, click here like this, you can see how it's looking a little weird there by her nose. And I will be adjusting that. So we'll just, I'll use the back space on the backslash on the keyboard to show you the red is where there is nothing being applied so we'll just do this area here okay and for the black brush and then just bring back some of the eyebrows here okay now i'm going to lower the opacity to 36 percent and keep it on the black brush and we're just going to brush here. I'm just clicking and dragging and just kind of doing new clicks the more I want more brush strokes and also her chin. I want to bring back some of that detail. Select some on the outfit where I got the airbrush onto the outfit and here and pushing the back slash again on the keyboard. Okay. That looks really good with the lower opacity since I already have it there. I'm going to put the white brush again and just lightly do a few little strokes here on her eyelids. Do the black again or you can click it here. Or use the X on your keyboard. Bring back some of the detail, especially when there's like little like glitter and sparkles in her eyeshadow I definitely want to show that and here it's a little orange by her nose usually the shadows do get a little on the orange side so I'm just kind of going back and forth between the white and the black brush using the black again to remove some of the airbrushing here and there's the face so now I'm bringing the opacity back to 100% and then the white brush. And I'm going to do her arms here. So just kind of brushing it on. Into the neck area. And the hands. So usually with the hands, I do like to show more of the lines and like the little creases but I will bring them back lower the opacity again with a black brush and then let's bring back some of those details so here in her wrist and especially in the fingers bringing that back okay that looks really good and then with the black brush still at 33 percent i'm going to just keep clicking and dragging here where i see some little lines here by her neck and her shoulder i don't want it to look too plasticky like a doll so i just kind of keep adjusting that and now i'm going to do her legs so i'm going to bring the opacity back to 100 percent and with the brackets on the keyboard, make the brush a little larger just to make it a little faster. And make it a, I'm going to lower the opacity a little, make the brush a little smaller, and just get in a little closer here. The black brush again to take away some. And take a little more there. And 
going to lower, lower the opacity a little to 60% and then just add on a few more spots here. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to select the airbrush layer in the background and drag it to duplicate the layer and then control E on the keyboard to merge the layer. I just like doing that so I can make any adjustments necessary without having to redo the airbrush layer if I decide I don't like the changes that I made. Now we're going to clean up the image a little and do like the little black spots here and some dust and like hair. I like it to be a little bit on the cleaner side so we'll select the um, spot healing brush tool and I'm going to start here on her shoulder. I have these two white spots that showed up with the airbrush. They're just minor beauty marks that are fine to cover up with it not being very much. Do a control D there. Just make I find like having the tool on the smaller side kind of helps a little. Just keep selecting. If necessary, you can use the um, clone stamp tool. So S on the keyboard and Alt to create a sample. For this, I do like it on the lower opacity because I can just keep clicking if I want there to be more done there. Go back to my spot healing. I'm going to clean that up a bit more with the airbrush. So we'll come up here to these little black spots. A few here. Clean up the couch here, remove some of the hair. I find it to be a bit distracting, so I just like to clean up what I can. But that's all, you know, personal preference, whatever is best for your particular image and your style. Now, I don't like how this white is showing through up here on the bed, so I'm just going to make this a little larger on the spot healing tool and click and drag, and it usually does a pretty good job. Just click anymore. I want to be adjusted. This white spot here. Okay. So now we're going to do the details of um, her like kind of contouring her with the other layers we did so we'll start with the darken brush layer we'll select the brush I like it to be actually I like 60% is really good and we're just going to brush on where there's already shadows and basically just deepen them so even onto the clothes a little do the sides of the legs so it's kind of just creating our own contour like to do a little on the nose even here similar how we do contouring on her wrist a little so mostly where you already see some shadows and then I'm going to bring the opacity down on that layer if I find it too harsh you can see the before and after. I'm going to add a little more on her nose here, underneath the chin. And then to brighten it, same thing. So I just go where there's already a bit of a highlight. Click and drag here. I like to do a little on the lips to brighten those, make them look fuller, and then a few random spots in the hair if I makes it look really nice. And then zoom out so I can see more, and then again bring down the opacity. 
And there you have the before and afters. You can toggle back and forth and see. I think that looks really nice. I like how that looks. And then there you go. So that is the final image that I'm happy with. So I will save that out. As for me, I save out as a JPEG. And here you have the before and after. So this is the raw image that I shot. And then on the right is the completely edited one with the airbrushing and all of the details. And I just love how it pops, how it just looks nice and smooth and looks really good. Music